Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Tatler Homes Design Awards 2022. I'm Bobby Tonelli, and I'm going to be your host this evening. Together with the team from Tatler Homes Singapore, we are delighted to have you with us. This year marks the sixth edition of the awards, and we are streaming live to you from Lieg Showroom on Purvis Street. Now, before we begin, please take note of the following. We ask that our guests kindly mute their mics for the full duration of this live stream. By any chance, if the video or the audio goes out, please type it into the chat box and let us know. A Tyler Holmes representative will be in touch shortly. Now, before we begin, we would also like to thank our sponsors, Arova, Gagano, Gallery 1819, Hafari, Kef, Lieg, Sol Luminaire, Cinegraphic Design, and Toto. A natural flair is the theme of the Tatler Homes Design Awards 2022. We're celebrating not only the beautiful projects completed by local firms, but also the importance of designing thoughtfully for a better future. Every year, it is our pleasure to gather designers, brands, and our readers to celebrate the achievements of the local design scene. This year, we are hosting the awards announcement, announcement live from the Lieg showroom in Singapore. Lieg is a French house of creation founded by Christian Lieg. The brand has been designing and creating spaces and furnishings for over 35 years and is synonymous with French taste and style without ostentation. Lieg's value proposition lies in simplicity, quality, balance, and beauty, all of which are embodied by the beautiful showroom we are currently in. We would also like to share a peek into Lieg's new showroom in Beijing. Please enjoy this short video. Isn't that marvelous? Now, for our guests in Singapore, please enjoy the canapé selection that we have sent to you earlier today. The botanical-themed canapés set is specially created by Lux Catering. It takes an inspiration from the nature in Singapore's Garden City vision in keeping with the theme this year. And I would like now like to give the floor to the Tatler Homes team to share a few words. Please welcome Stephanie Tay, Acting Managing Director of Tatler Asia, Singapore, and Hong Sing Ying, Regional Managing Editor of Tatler Homes. Thank you, Bobby. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tatler Homes Design Awards 2022. Tonight, we celebrate top talents in design and tastemakers in Singapore. At Tatler Homes, we embrace a well-designed home because it is our sanctuary, a place that we can be our true selves and a place of happiness and safety. We are so excited to see so many wonderful projects this year, and we look forward to seeing them later. I will now pass you to singing to say a few words. Singing. Thank you, Stephanie. It gives us such pleasure to be hosting the sixth edition of the Tatler Homes Design Awards. Every year, we select some of the top projects we have featured in the magazine as well as online. Our jury members cast their votes based on the following criteria. Quality of design concept, quality of execution, clever spatial planning, as well as contextual relevance. For categories such as Best Showroom and Best Bespoke Concept, we have also invited our readers to vote for their favourite projects online. Above all, we believe that good design can pave the way to a better world. Whether it's through creating a timeless interior, selecting materials wisely, or through supporting projects with a positive social and ecological impact. We look forward to seeing more beautiful work to come from the local firms, and we're very proud of what the winners have done. We would like to thank again our jury members, readers, and our sponsors for their support. Now, on to the awards. 
Thank you, Stephanie and Xin Ying. We would like to thank the jury of the Tatler Homes Design Awards for their invaluable support. This year, our nine-member panel includes Ed Baco, CEO of Champlement Design, a New York-based interior design studio who led the renovation of Raffles Singapore. Clint Nagata, founder and partner of Blink Design Group, a luxury hospitality design firm with offices in Singapore, Bangkok, and Shanghai. Tio Susim, partner of LTW Design Works, a multinational firm headquartered in Singapore and China, known for designing luxury hotels from around the world. Frank Leong, founder of VIA, a Hong Kong-based multidisciplinary practice known for projects that span across residential, commercial, and hospitality sectors. Mark Wee, Executive Director of Design Singapore Council, a national agency with the goal of making Singapore a lovable city through design. We also have notable academics in our panel, who include Sabrina Long, Dean of the School of Art and Design at NAFA, the Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts, and Erwin Virai, Chief Sustainability Officer at SUTD, the Singapore University of Technology and Design. Finally, the panel also includes Ku Peng Bang and Belinda Huang, co-founders of Arc Studio Architecture and Urbanism. They have been jointly named as the Designer of the Year at the President's Design Award 2020, the nation's top accolade for designers across disciplines. The architects believe in building purposeful spaces that will contribute to seating life and community. Belinda and Peng Bang will be sharing a congratulatory message to the winners on behalf of the jury panel. Hello everyone, Belinda and I feel so privileged to be part of the jury panel for the Tatler Homes Design Awards 2022. We would like to congratulate all the winners of this wonderful award. This is a celebration and a flag on the amazing works that you have all done. It is only made possible by your labour of love and creativity. We can see that you have used your gifts to form beautiful spaces that express the desires and dreams of those you designed for. These spaces are a manifestation of environments where memories will form. The spaces host interactions between couples, family members and friends in an atmosphere of beauty and love. And the spaces become a canvas on which the families paint on with colours of their lives. More than just beauty, we see designers express their skills, whether with wood, stone, glass or metal, designers like alchemists transform these materials from something ordinary to something extraordinary. They expertly manipulated these materials as three-dimensional artists, even using plants, mm. water, light and air as part of their palette. And whether large or small, we see every project laying the foundation for the next generation. Without a single word, the work of these designers silently speaks to the generations to come. We firmly believe that designers are a big part of the awakening of our ecological consciousness as a humanity. The theme, a natural flair, really resonates with this and with our hearts. As designers, every single choice, every single action affects the interconnectedness of life. All our collective choices and voices are important in our action to create a common home for humanity that is safe and more just. With Earth's population possibly reaching 10 billion in our lifetime, environmental restoration and social equity must underlie all our works. Our design are part of environmental justice where we must ensure that we do not rob generations in the future of their rights to a world that is clean and safe. As designers, we collectively guide our world into a future which will all help to shape. We are so happy to celebrate your masterpieces here today. And once again, congratulate all of you on your amazing works. Congratulations. May we all collectively steer our world into a future that is even more beautiful and safe for all. A world of trust and love filled with care. Thank you all for your amazing work, creativity and congratulations once again. Thank you, Belinda and Peng Bang, for such an inspiring speech. For this edition of the Tyler Holmes Design Awards 2022, the Tyler Holmes team has collaborated with a local glassmaker, Cinegraphic Design, to create bespoke trophies. The firm's talented artisans have used glass offcuts to create these trophies. No two pieces are exactly alike, so each winner will be receiving a trophy that is uniquely 
their own. Each trophy is attached to a glass base that features a digitally print pattern inspired by natural stone. Combining the latest printing technology with the traditional techniques, the trophy design champions the art of glassmaking while minimizing material wastage. The winners of the 10 main categories will be given the version in amber-orange. The trophies in blue tones will be awarded to the designers on the rise, a category that recognizes the achievements of young firms. Now, I'm sure that you're as excited to find out who the winners are of the Tyler Holmes Design Awards 2022. We have a total of 11 categories to be presented tonight. The first category is the designers on the rise. This year, we are highlighting the work of three studios that make sustainability a key part of their design philosophy. And the winners are AL Plus, FDAT Architects, and Goy Architects. Notable projects that these firms have recently completed include the Singapore Botanic Gardens Seed Bank by AL Plus, a plant conservation research and education facility. The recent renovation of Park Royale Collection Marina Bay by FDAT Architects, which features a hotel in a garden concept. And Goy Architects. Sukasantai Farm Stay, a family-run organic vegetable farm in Indonesia. Congratulations. We will now invite the winners to present a thank you speech. Please welcome Luther Seat, founder of AL+. It's a real honor to be here. I'd like to thank Tedler, um, the esteemed panel of judges, and uh, Lieg for the chance to be here again. And as we transition in these challenging times, um, moving into this cloud-based model of practice, as we call it, um, I'd like to acknowledge the hard work and friendship of uh, our collaborative architects, um, Lee, uh, Kelvin, John James, our associates in Javier in Spain, as well as Phil in London. Uh, thank you for all the great work. And uh, with this award, we, we uh, aspire to do much better and uh, carry on the good work that we've been doing. Thank you. Thank you, Luther. Next, Goy Tunru, founder of Goy Architects, would also like to share a few words. Hello, everyone joining us online. Um, it's really a great honor that Tatler Homes actually awarded this award to us. We are really deeply honored as well as encouraged by um, the progress of design that is in Singapore, actually. Uh, we are really excited that we are able to experiment with uh, regional materials across Southeast Asia. And I want to have a special shout out to our team uh, in Singapore, Indonesia, and Thailand, Sam, Desi, uh, Ozzy, Laura, Nicole, Tam, uh, as well as um, June and um, Cindy. Really very happy that we are able to work across Southeast Asia and to be able to bring about more regional materials um, to our design. Thank you, General. Lastly, please welcome senior architectural designers Pang Tun Li and Krista Young of FDAT Architects. Hi, I'm, hi everyone. Thanks for having us. Uh, we're very excited to be here. Uh, it's been a very exciting year for us. Um, I think on the behalf of Donovan and Francis, we'd like to thank our clients, um, Mr. Lam from UL Group, uh, Mr. Cho from Pan Pacific Hotel Group, um, as well as Michelle Yong from Orem Land, Kim Yong from Wohab, uh, and of course the consultants and the contractors for the, their support. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's um, very heartwarming to see our team grow and yeah. Uh, to see the support that was given to us by our clients and our partners. Uh, yeah, our yeah. team is a very young <laughs> team and it's very really hard for me to see the growth yeah. so far. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> thank you again for the award and thank you, Tedler, for having yeah. us. Thank you very much. Next, we will unveil the winners of the three Reader's Choice categories. Now, these projects have been selected based on the votes gathered online from our readers and jury. First, we will present the award for Best Bespoke Concept. Sponsored by KEF, enjoy a short video from the sponsor. The reference is our Pinnacle series. The reference is a system that's designed with extreme attention to detail, minimizing compromises and making sure that the system performs as well as it possibly can. The reference name was first used because of the way we manufacture the loudspeakers and how every single model we produce in our factory is compared to our lab standard. This manufacture method is now commonplace, but KEF were in fact the first company to digitally measure loudspeakers and to do this in production. 
The smallest loudspeaker in the reference series is the reference one. This is a stand mount loudspeaker. We then have the reference three, which is a floor standing larger speaker, and the reference five, the flagship floor standing loudspeaker. For home cinema applications, there's a reference two center channel and a larger reference four center channel. Every reference loudspeaker is hand built by a single craftsman at our facility in Maidstone. The new reference has incorporated the new metamaterial technology into a brand new UniQ driver at the heart of our products and elevated the performance substantially compared to the previous range. The metamaterial absorption technology, it's a smart way to absorb the sound coming out from the back of the tweeter. It works with a plurality of quarter of wavelength resonators and each resonator absorbs 99% of the sound but they work only in the very small frequency range. But because they are working together, they can cover the full spectrum of the Twitter. And that gives us a much purer sound that we can direct to you, the listener, so what you hear is clearer and more natural. We're really chasing after that last couple of percent of performance. Every single aspect of the reference series now speakers has been very carefully designed to optimize the sound performance. We focus on every single detail so that we can try and give you the best possible sound experience. And the winner is Sumizura. A pair of two bedroom apartments were merged to form a single home that looks simply spectacular. Besides a complete layout overhaul, all furnishings are custom made to ensure a harmonious look. Art deco details and metallic trimmings create a luxurious ambiance. Congratulations once again. Please welcome Angela Lim, design director of Sumisura, who would like to share a few words. Thank you, Tatler Holmes, for the award. This is truly a glorious moment, and I wish that the team who has worked tirelessly throughout this project could be here to bask in the recognition. And I thank Tatler and the judging committee for awarding us this, and I would also like to take this opportunity um, to congratulate all the well-deserving winners. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. Now on to our next Reader's Choice category. We'll be presenting the award for Best Showroom sponsored by Cinegraphic Design. Please enjoy a short message from the sponsor. Hi, I'm Sarah from Cinegraphic Design, and we are passionate about transforming spaces with the beauty and functionality of glass. We are proud to be sponsoring the Best Showroom category for Tetler Homes Design Awards this year. Congratulations to all the winners. Great job. And the winner is Hafari Gallery. Designed by Park & Associates, the showroom at Pile Bar takes visitors on an experiential journey through curated spaces that engage their senses. The spacious showroom features beautiful zones that showcase thousands of products from the brands which include porcelain tiles, stone, and mosaic collections. Congratulations. Please welcome Wee Gek Ying, Senior Business Development Manager of Hafari, to share a few words. Hello everyone, thank you Tatla Holmes for the award and thank you to all the readers who have voted for us. It's very privileged to be able to receive this award. We would also like to thank Park & Associates, the architects for the space, uh, for transforming our space into such a beautiful reality by using our, our materials. And to thank everyone who has been with us in this journey for their support. And uh, we welcome all industry friends and partners to join us at our space soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next is the third and last Reader's Choice category, the Best Show Unit, presented by Gagano. Here's a message from the sponsor. My first memory of food left a deep impression on me. My passion for cooking first began when I was a child. I was intrigued by the sights, sounds, and aroma of cooking in the kitchen. I enjoy making desserts for friends and family because they evoke happy memories. Pavlova is one such happy dessert and it really helps to have precise equipment. I love Gaganao for being truly a work of art in the kitchen. It has stylish, contemporary and seamless design 
yet also maintains the highest standards of functionality, performance and safety. It is a dream appliance for every kitchen. I really love creating desserts with Mummy. She's convinced me that it is possible to embark on a successful legal career while juggling my hobbies and dreams. And the winner is Key Residences by Second Edition. Designed by Second Edition, the Key Residences show units feature a strong Japanese aesthetic. Elements inspired by Japanese tea and sake drinking culture continue the overall theme. The resulting spaces are elegant and utterly calming. Congratulations. Please welcome Hilary Lowe, Design Director of Second Edition. Hi, thank you, Tyler. Thank you all the readers that work for us. This is such an honor, and I just keep it in the Japanese way. Thank you very much, Arigato. Thank you. Thank you, Hilary. Short and sweet, I like that. Next, we will present the winner of the best luxury concept sponsored by Gagano. And the winner is Dwell Interior Design. Welcoming is an apt way to describe this elegant home designed for a couple who loves to entertain. The luxurious home is thoughtfully crafted with marble metal accents and an understated color scheme. The opulence continues in the master bedroom, which features a sophisticated mood inspired by the Armani Hotel in Milan. Congratulations. Ed Ong, founder of Dwell Interior Design, will be sharing a few words. Thank you, hi everyone. I, uh, we are very honored to be awarded the best luxury concept for our project at the Atmo Park. Uh, first, I would like to thank the um, panel of jury, uh, which includes uh, Mr. Mark Wee, Ms. Sabrina Long, and uh, Mr. Owen Viray, and the other members who are all captains of the design scene in uh, Singapore. Very honored for our project to have been seen and uh, selected by yourselves. Uh, next, I would like to thank Tatler Homes um, for uh, being who they are. Uh, the, in the digital age, I think Tatler Homes is a media that is uh, connecting uh, very well, the readers to the luxury design space. I would also like to thank, very importantly, my clients uh, who have brought us on for this project uh, for, at the Artmore Park. Uh, you yourselves would know that uh, you've been very, very involved in the color selection when it came to the uh, soft furnishings. Uh, finally, I want to thank my team, uh, Edwin, Su Wei, Hui Qi, Jermaine, um, who are always believing with me that talent is meant to serve and that it takes character to complete what creativity started. Uh, it's a huge honor, thank you. Thank you, Ed. And now we would like to present a video from our jury sharing their thoughts on the categories presented so far. Please enjoy. My favorite entry was for best luxury concept. I really liked the soft and subtle use of color and textures to really provide for a luxurious uh, home setting. The designer was able to create delightful transitions in spaces from the living to the dining and kitchen. The space has clean modern lines with a beautiful, warm atmosphere. What really impressed me about this apartment is how Su Mizura has cleverly combined two adjacent units to form one cohesive whole. I really love the Art Deco inspired details, which includes the sunburst design on the door of a master bedroom. The project, the architect Christina, has done an excellent job in designing an experience where visitors journey through a series of carefully created zones of a world of tiles like a city. This is truly an inspirational space for the homeowner or designer and satisfies the client's goal to make design accessible for everyone. The artistic setting of this showroom successfully showcases the beauty of the materials, creating interest and a variety of sensory experiences ranging from screens to abstract forms to luxurious baths. The displays come across as a series of art installations that expand the possibilities for the creative use of the products. So I thought that the interiors were really sophisticated with an understated elegance. Everything is meticulously curated, whether it's a spatial design, material palette or the finishings. 
The subtle Japanese influences harmonizes with the branding of the development. The narrative is translated into a contemporary show unit with an imageable identity. And the daring use of dark woods, fluted panels and curved edges juxtaposed with light wood was successful in creating a variation of ambience and emotions that makes the spaces attractive. The Japanese influences of this project are really well done by second edition. I love how it conveys a really cohesive design narrative while presenting really beautiful spaces for homeowners to visit. The spaces designed by AL Plus are clean lined with a care for detail. Nature is embraced in the designs with sensitivity. I particularly like the dormitory project, which displays a level of care for humanity. Good person-centered design brings about psychological well-being. It is always uh, inspiring to see one's former students creating things and doing things that make the world better. And one of them is architect Luther C who helms AL+, Plus, and projects such as the low-cost housing for workers in 2021, a livable dormitory for workers with a lush landscape courtyard, and serves as a community gathering area for the residents of the dorm, allow a wonderful, livable, and healthy living space for the workers. I really appreciate Goizen Rule of Goy Architects, a female-based practice with uh, its partners and collaborators based across Southeast Asia. They actually work together on projects. Uh, this has allowed them to really bring an authentic regional sensibility to their work, which you can evidently see in their wonderful Sukabumi farm stay project in Indonesia. That actually provides a fresh, modernist expression of Indonesia. Their setup is even more powerful given that people are working remotely easily these days. And I think the potential for this practice would be something to really track in the years to come. This is a firm that's clearly on the rise. Aside from the very published lobby of the Marina Mandarin Hotel, their recent clubhouse project for the same hotel is also wonderful. Though a young firm, they clearly have the confidence to execute large-scale projects which younger firms may not. And though they are Woha alumni, they have clearly their own language, which is going to really bode well for hospitality work. So again, look out for their projects to come. Wasn't that inspiring? Now we will be presenting the final categories for the evening. The next category is the best modern concept sponsored by Soul Luminaire. Here's a message from the sponsor. Hello everyone, I'm Joseph Ho from Soul Luminaire. At Soul Luminaire, we believe that good architectural lighting is an integral part of design and we have seen that in the spectacular work from this year's winner. We are honoured to be presenting the best modern concept for Tyler Homes Design Awards 2022. Congratulations to all winners and cheers. And the winner is Super Assembly. Fantastic sea views are the hallmark of this transforming minimalist apartment in the Wallach residence. The living area was enlarged by removing an adjacent room. Sliding doors allowed this space to be converted into a guest room if needed. Congratulations. Super Assembly co-founders Iskandar Idris and Patrick Sia are here with us tonight and would like to share a few words. Uh we are very honoured and grateful to uh, Singapore Tyler Homes for this award, definitely. And it is very humbling for us to be amongst uh, the rest of the winners today. And it definitely has given uh, us and the team greater motivation and meaning to kind of create more impactful spaces. Yeah, I just want to take the opportunity to uh, really thank Tatler uh, Homes Singapore uh, for this amazing opportunity. Uh, I'd like to just take, take a few moments to thank uh, you know, so many wonderful people that has just made this project so successful. Uh, the client, of course, you know, thank you for trusting, putting your trust in us. Um, thanks to Moses, uh, the contractor that we have uh, uh, you know, worked on so many projects uh, together before. And of course, our design team, uh, Richie, Vieni, Rubina, 
and uh, Aslam, thank you guys so much for your hard work that we've put on to, uh, for this project. It's uh, been an amazing journey uh, and you know we hope that we can con continue to grow and use this as a motivation for all of us, not just the two of us, but all of us. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Thank you, Iskandar and Patrick. Always good to thank the contractor as well. Next up, we will unveil the project with the best use of art, sponsored by Gallery 1819. Here is a message from our sponsor. Hi, I'm Zach Lowe, founder of Gallery 1819. We are proud to be a sponsor for the Tatula Homes Design Awards 2022. We are proud to be presenting the best use of art category this year. As a fine art gallery, we believe that there are many ways that art can help elevate the look of your home. We would like to congratulate all the winners for a job well done. We look forward to welcoming you to our gallery. And the award goes to Archetology Interiors. This stunning home was envisioned as a giant canvas for its owner's collection of Chinese contemporary art. These dynamic artworks pepper the home, mm -hmm. handpicked and installed where they would make the biggest visual impact. Congratulations. Please welcome Archetology Interior co-founders Bu Shu Kun and Terence Kwa. <laughs> We are definitely grateful for this uh, award and um, definitely we need to thank our clients for the opportunity in this project and the escapade in uh, space exploration. Um, definitely also to Tetler team for always cultivating the design field and also growing the seeds of um, appreciation for good crafted solutions. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you Shukun. Terence, thank you very much. Our next category that we are presenting is the best use of color. Enjoy a short video from our sponsor, Arova. And the winner of Best Use of Color is Wito. This colorful home features a lively design inspired by the owner's love of retro pop songs. The home doesn't just look stunning, but it's also practically designed. The vibrant cavern tree keeps the home uncluttered and conceals appliances when they're not in use. Congratulations. Jan Forlain, founder of Wito, would like to share a few words. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Tatler Home, for providing us this award. It's, um, it's a true pleasure, it's a honor to be, to be given this award of the best use of color. Color of my life, this project for a fantastic client with a fantastic contractor and a fantastic team that led to such fantastic design. So, so thanks again. And color is everywhere and color is what contributes to well-being. So continue using color everywhere, every day. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Jen. I love color as well. The next category we are awarding is the best penthouse sponsored by Toto. Here's a message from our sponsor. I'm Gani Admadreja, founder of W Artelia. We are delighted to sponsor the best penthouse category at Tatler Home Design Award 2022. At W Artelia, we pride ourselves as curators of fine bathroom and furniture pieces. They are both timeless and elegant. We are happy to support the works of established and up-and-coming local designers and architects. We look forward to celebrating the achievement of the winners. Congratulations. And the award goes to Antimatter. Designed by Antimatter founder Gabriel Tan, this penthouse has a classical elegance. It boasts design inspiration from around the world. For instance, the lofty ceiling height is a nod to the Catalan-style vaulted ceilings in Barcelona. Congratulations. This is Gabriel Tan, principal of Studio Antimatter. I'm delighted and grateful to be receiving this award, the best penthouse by Tatler Home. And I would like to thank my team who worked tirelessly on this project, as well as the trust of the client who allowed us to demonstrate our creativity and flair in the design of this penthouse. 
Next, we will present the award winner of the best architectural concept sponsored by Hafari. Here is a video message from our sponsor. Through the various trade fairs that we have visited during the years, we have identified innovative products that we can introduce to the market. I believe the market is ready for innovative servicing products. Hafari, as a market leader, has decided to take the lead to bring those products to the designers, architects and homeowners. Customers these days are well informed and when they come to our showroom, we are able to meet their design requirement. What I really enjoyed about this project is that it gave us the opportunity to test the boundaries of what tiles can do. We thought it was an opportunity for us to really try to think out of the box, uh, recreate a showroom beyond its normal uh, function of just displaying tiles. And the award goes to Ming Architects. Principal architect Tan Chir Ming describes the complex construction of this home as almost like a rock that is chiseled away to reveal a sculpture. The result is a stylish home that boasts a double volume basement, a lap pool, and a stunning, stunning staircase. Please welcome Tan Chir Ming, founder of Ming Architects, to share a few words. Oh, I'd like to thank uh, Singapore Tetler Homes the esteemed jury and also uh, the editor Singin for recognizing our work. Uh, it's a real honor for me because we are still a relatively young practice and um, there are many deserving architects and designers in our field. Um, the end result is due to a collective team effort. So I'd like to acknowledge the team. Um, we have the contractor Space Scope, uh, did an excellent build. Um, we have the consultant teams, uh, PTS and PTA uh, consultants and WS surveyorship and uh, my clients of course they put their faith in us and also my own project team my architects uh, Megan and Erica working on a project for me uh, last but not least I'd like to thank God for giving me this opportunity which started four years ago and has finally led up today to this uh, for this award so thank you very much thank you Chair Meng the last category we are awarding tonight is the best house interior design. And the winner is design intervention. Once an office with tired interiors, this shop house is now a beautiful home with thoughtful touches. The home features a black and white look inside and out in keeping with the owner's preferences for monochromatic tones. Elements inspired by the work of Italian artist Piero Forasetti adds another playful touch. Unfortunately, design intervention principal Nikki Hunt is able to join us tonight. She sends her best and shares her gratitude for the accolade. Before we wrap up the night, we present the final commentary from the jury. through its use of natural materials like wood in the modernist uh, design language. The overall detailing is sensitive and provides another layer of beauty to this actually really elegant space. This is, in my view, a really good project with a clear architectural hand in its design, where its outcome is really an urban sanctuary for its owners to appreciate the really gorgeous view outside. Um, I think the, the lines we clean a very restrained use of material palette, but I think it's really clever use of space, which is a reflection of, I think, our times. Uh, like if you're at home, it needs to be a refuge, a place of retreat, as well as, you know, flexible for many other uses. Archaeology's clever usage and placement of Chinese contemporary art in this home really helped to elevate the space and frame the interior. This project celebrates the art while augmenting the interior spaces. It's hard to see which came first, art or design. And this is exciting as art and interior becomes complementary to each other and yet beautiful in their own right. The layering of neutral colours and materials in this penthouse designed by Antimeta adds a unique dimension to the space. The smart usage of height and volume also injects a breath of fresh air into the apartment.
What I really appreciated was the ingenuous design approach towards the basement and through its inventive use of direct and indirect light into the space through the use of glass, a window even into the pool, as well as a dramatic spiral stair that actually connects the spaces seamlessly, visually as well as functioning with the ground level. So this is a really well done project. The pockets of windows found in the house frame the exterior from the interior, creating synergy inside out. The neutral tones and the minimal lines in the architecture and interior sets a blank canvas that allows living to take center stage. It is a design of an old shop house that has been made into something new. And so you can see the new and the old uh, together in that space. It's a very clear design concept and through the interiors, we can see a beautiful life unfolding in that space. It offers a modern take on the shop house archetype, presenting a monochromatic interior while featuring playful elements inspired by Fauna Stati. Congratulations on the wonderful job done. The bold use of a black and white palette with colour accents and touches of gold created a richness to the shop house interior. And the black frames of the doorways form an interesting layering of spaces. Elegant use of details and finishing connects the design to the Art Deco heritage of the shop house. Personally, I've been into the space before. I love the story behind this. Really one where an architect climbed with a deep appreciation for modernist architecture and an exuberant personality gave her designer a mixtape of her fave retro tunes to be inspired from. So look at it, it's a wonderful use of colors, a clear ode to Charles and Ray, and a home of energy and love to work and live in. I think um, not just bold use of color, but the juxtaposition of, you know, primitive geometry, uh, and also really raw material textures such as concrete uh, makes a really, really cozy uh, and uh, livable uh, uh, environment. I think those are some of the things that I personally look for in the coming work of the studio. Again, congratulations to all the winners. Um, I hope to be able to see you in person, either in Singapore or in Hong Kong very soon. The colour contrast works especially well for the teal wall, accentuating the multi-mode operation of the wall, with each operation creating an ever-changing composition and experience. There were a number of really spectacular projects this year. There were some that, had, that featured a great play of light and volume, or had very interesting indoor-outdoor relationships that sometimes made small spaces seem more expansive and interesting. Uh, or that achieved a great sense of character through materiality or the play of color and texture within the furniture. Ultimately, there were others as well that created a really engaging sense of a home and had a lot of personality through objects or art collections that were incorporated into the work. All of these projects reflect an approach to lifestyle that felt elevated without feeling pretentious. And I want to thank everyone who submitted work and offer my sincere congratulations to all the winners. Your work shows the true power of design to elevate how we live. Well done, everyone. Congratulations again to the winners. Now let's raise a glass to the achievements of these talented designers and architects. I'm going to give you a moment to grab your glass as I'm doing it right here. Everybody at home, are you with me here? All right, we're going to count it down. Three. Two, one, a toast to the winners, salute. All right. I got to throw a little Italian in there. Yes. Everybody at Liega is just having a great time. This is amazing, right? Great time, they can finally talk. This has been the quietest award show here we've ever heard. Everybody's been having to be quiet as I'm talking throughout this entire event. Now you can hear them in the background. A celebration is happening. And another round of applause to all the winners of the Tatler Homes Design Awards 2022. Dear guests, on behalf of Tatler Homes Singapore, thank you for joining us for this live stream again. Again, this special occasion would not have been possible without our sponsors. Arova, Gagano, Gallery 1819, Afari, Kef, Lieg, Sol Luminaire, Cinegraphic Design, and Toto. The live stream video will be published online soon. In the meantime, you can find out more about these award-winning projects on tatlerhomes.com. Thank you, and have a lovely evening ahead, and stay safe. Take care.